Okay. Quick battery change. We're on to question eight. Um, express four cos theta minus two sine theta in the form r cos theta plus alpha. From the formula booklet, this is r cos theta cos alpha minus r sine theta sine alpha. So we compare um, coefficients. We've got cos theta there and there, so we're saying that r cos alpha must be 4. We've got sine theta there and there, so we're saying that r sine alpha must be equal to 2. Um, square and add r squared is 4 squared plus 2 squared, giving us r squared is 20. 16 plus 4, so r is root 20. Um, or, you know, whatever we want to write that as, 2 root 5, there we are. Um, so cos alpha is 4 over root 20. Sin alpha is 2 over root 20. Either way we do that, we're going to get... Uh, hang on, are we in degrees? We're in degrees. So I think my calculator in radians is... So we're going to do inverse cos of 4 over... Root 20, 26.5, 26.6 degrees. Look, I know, we know what we're doing, and it's it's over the top to check, but we're going to check because in our exam, we really don't want to make any careless mistakes. So that gives us the same angle. So there we are. So we've expressed it as the form that we wanted so that is 2 root 5 cos theta plus 26.6. There we go. That's part 1 done. Moving on to part 2. Solve the equation. Hence, solve the equation. So actually this equation really is root 20 cos theta plus 26.6 equals 3. Um, so cos theta plus 26.6 is 3 over root 20. And that's cos of 3 over root 20 is 47.86. Root 7, 87 degrees. Um, however you want to sort out your second angle, I'm a I cast diagram all the way. 47.87 there and there. So that's that one, and this one is 360 minus that, which is 312.13. We now need to subtract our 26.6, so theta is um, that. Uh, I, I, um, just do it. Ah, messing around with the calculator. Sorry, you can't even see it, can you? Um, so 47.87 minus our 26.6 gives us 21.3. And that other one, 312.13, take away 26.6 is 286, I think, 285.6, 286 to three significant figures. There we go. I feel I ought to have done something with saving the values in the memory, but... Anyway, determine the greatest and least values Ooh, of this. Well, that expression... Notice a little squared sign in there. That's appeared. This is 25 minus... This is our thing that we've been working out all the way along. So, root 20 cos theta plus 26.6 squared. Ah! So that is 25 minus 20 times cos squared theta plus 26.6. Now the crucial thing here is cos, cos theta varies between minus 1 and plus 1, but cos squared theta varies between 0 and plus 1. Because if it's negative, you'd be squaring it and become positive. So when that is equal to 0, we have 25 minus 20 which is 5, sorry, 
When that is equal to 1, we have 25 minus 20, which is that. When that is equal to 0, we have 25 minus 0. We have nothing, which is that. So our least value is 5. Our greatest is 25. It didn't want any more than that, did it? Oh, and find the smallest positive value for theta for which that value occurs. So the least is 25 minus 20. That's when this lot is equal to 1. If cos squared theta plus 26.6 .6 equals 1. So cos of theta plus 26.6 .6, oh, equals plus or minus 1. Uh -huh. um, smallest positive value of theta for which that occurs. So if we do inverse cos of 1, then our calculator says 0. It also says 360 degrees. And it says minus 360 degrees. Um, so if that equals 1, oh, this is a little bit more than, than we maybe thought, isn't it? We've got theta plus 26.6 as being 0. Or 360, we want the smallest positive value of theta. So the smallest positive value of theta we get from that is 360 minus 26.6, .6, but that's not actually going to be the value we're interested in. Because if cos of theta plus 26.6 .6 equals minus 1, that happens at 180 degrees, doesn't it? There's your cos graph, there's 180. So theta plus 26.6 .6 is 180. So theta is 153.4 degrees for that one. The greatest, well this one is much easier, that's when this dot is equal to zero um, and this would happen when theta plus 26.6 .6 equals 90, that one's much easier so theta is 90 minus 26.6 .6 is 63.4. That's the greatest, that's the least and I've, I've kind of, my working out isn't the neatest there, but you get the idea of, of the flow of what we've done. <sighs> there we go. And that's maths.